Hello my friends and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna talk about Kazuha and whether he's still a muscle character or not. Uh, specifically in the Natlan period that is approaching. Uh, first thing first, I think at this point there is no such thing whatsoever as a muscle character. Uh, the closest character that we have to being a muscle is actually Furina. And even then, I think you can manage without her just fine. Uh, the purpose of this video is not to tell you that Kazuha is not useful. Obviously, Kazuha is very useful. And if you pull it for him, it's definitely worth it. But at the same time, there is no denying that he is becoming more replaceable as of now. And I think this, is a, this pattern is going to continue to the future. And he's going to be more replaceable in Natlan as we get more and more options. Uh, yeah, and I'm aware that the vast majority of uh, players, me, me included, like we already have Kazuha, especially like... Uh, uh, so if you are a new player and you like his design or his gameplay, I see zero reason whatsoever on why you shouldn't get him. I mean, just start saving for Kazuha and get him and close this video right now. However, if you have an issue with his design as a character or, he, or he, you don't like him, or if primos are tight, okay? Or maybe you want to save for the Pyro Archon with extra constellations. I'm here to explain to you that it's not really wrong, even from the meta perspective. In this video, I will give you like examples in order to explain my point. If I say Nuvelate, I mean a Hydro DPS. If I say Ryuthisly, I mean a Cryo Reverse Mill DPS, for example. If I say Nahida, I mean Dendro. So, what is important is the roles of these characters, not the specific names of them. Let's talk about Novelet. I normally play Novelet with Furina and Kazuha and Jongli. Uh, this is probably one of, the, of my best teams. Kazuha uses the VV artifact and uh, his skill. I personally do not use his burst because his burst takes a lot of time and does nothing in this, in this team specifically. So in this team, like, you do not utilize uh, Kazuha's entire kit, uh, basically to save time. However, it's not like Novelet is helpless without Kazuha. You can actually like substitute Kazuha for Sacros and everything is basically the same. And even then, like, there's a lot of teams that you can go for. For example, a Novelet Hyper Bloom team with Nahida. As you can see, the team does a lot of damage and is easy to play. Maybe not as much damage as uh, team number one, uh, but at the same time, like, uh, it, it does the job. It does the job. And uh, you can, maybe if you do not have a C2 Furina, you can actually replace uh, Kazuha with Jean in order to heal the entire team. So there is advantages for not putting Kazuha with Novelet in this, in this team, especially if you do not have Baijo. What about Nuvelet Vape? Does Nuvelet Vape actually need Kazuha? Like normally when you want to vape with Nuvelet, the most famous team is um, probably Xianling or Dia and Kazuha and Furina. Kazuha basically swears Hydro with his skill and you can either burst or to make a Pyro Cloud or maybe save the burst to save time. But if Kazuha, if your Kazuha is C2, you actually want to burst to get the Elemental buff, Elemental Mastery buff. And uh, he is going to apply a Pyro Cloud and is going to help with the Pyro application. And uh, at the same time, you can make a Novelet Vape team without Kazuha uh, using characters, for example, like a C6 Diona, Xianling, and Furina. Uh, and it's easier to use this team because you actually do not, uh, you can't miss the absorption, unlike, for example, Kazuha or Sakros. And uh, when the Pyro of Field uh, 5 star character from Natland comes, I guess the, um, like the Novelet Vape teams might be more relevant than now. Because as of now, like Novelet uh, Vape teams are relatively like uh, unstable. Now, what about uh, other characters like Arlecchino? For some reason, a lot of the people that I talk with uh, normally like tell me Arlecchino teams in terms of either Vape with the Kazuha, Yalan and Bennett or maybe Overlord uh, with the Overlord <laughs> with the Shafroz maybe or whatever her name, the police girl uh, 
and uh, some other characters or maybe like a mono pyro team with uh, Shanling and Bennett and Kazuha uh, anyway like if you want to use Kazuha with Arlecchino there is plenty of options but at the same time like I personally do not uh, think that uh, you cannot uh, play around that <laughs> Uh, like for example one of my favorite vape teams is actually Arlecchino and Mona and Forina and Bennett uh, This team like give you a lot of satisfaction with uh, huge numbers even at C0 And uh, it's very easy to use Now even in Mono Pyro team you can switch out Kazuha and put for example Emily And in Overload team like it's not necessary to put Kazuha uh, however, I think uh, like uh, in my experience, I normally play with Vape with uh, with this team. So yeah, I just do not feel that Kazuha is necessary for Arlecchino to be strong. Uh, obviously, he is good, but uh, he is not a necessity. Same thing with Hutao actually. You can play here with the exact same team as Arlecchino with Mona and Bennett. Uh, however, like uh, it's not necessary to do that. You can also like use Cloud Retainer with, in the case of Huta because uh, she can help her do a lot of damage through plunge attack. And even if we compare C2 Kazuha with C2 Cloud Retainer, I believe like maybe Cloud Retainer is just the better option with Huta. So there is that. Now let us talk about Burn Mill DPSs. Uh, and let's use maybe Ryothisli as our example. You can always like play Ryothisli with Kazuha and the teams are good because Kazuha can swirl both uh, Pyro and Cryo at the same time. Uh, however, he is not necessary. Like uh, let's assume you have uh, Shanha, Kazuha and Bennett team where uh, Kazuha make a Pyro cloud. You can actually repl replace Kazuha with Xianling and the team will not uh, like be that much worse. Uh, or maybe like you can uh, use uh, Nahida in a uh, Burn Melt, uh, for example in a uh, Ryu Nahida, uh, Shanling Bennett team. Uh, also like uh, you don't need to actually use Burn for Ryu like you can actually use uh, a Hyper Bloom Ryu especially if you have C2 Nahida because C2 Nahida like give 30% uh, defense shred as long as there is an Electro unit in the team. So yeah, you are not out of option for like a uh, like character like uh, Ryothisli, Cryo characters. What about Radiant Shogun? At this point, I believe like you all gonna know what I'm going to say. Like I feel like I am a broken record or something. You can replace him with C6 Sakuros, uh or maybe C6 Shafros. <laughs> and uh, like I think like a C6 Shafros is actually like... Uh, she can buff Radiant Shogun better, I believe, but at the same time, she doesn't have any crowd control utility. Or maybe like a C2 uh, Nahida, uh, she, she, uh, her buff is actually like weaker, but at the same time, she can deal a lot of uh, sub deep S damage. Uh, the same thing with Furina, but uh, I believe like a C2 or C3 Furina actually buff uh, on par with Kazuha, if not even better, but at the same time, like she has a lot more sub DPS potential like her sub DPS damage is way way stronger than Kazuha so yeah Forina is like the better uh, option all, all the time and uh, while we are comparing Forina and Kazuha let us talk about the fact that uh, Forina actually buffs all the element at the same time as long as the team HP increases or decreases unlike Kazuha who can only buff like four elements uh, which are uh, Cryo and uh, Pyro and Electro and Hydro uh, also like he can only buff two effectively in the best case scenario like he, he can like use his skill and then absorb one element uh, so it's two in general while Furina can buff all the elements in the team so yeah I, I believe like he is um, a little bit inferior especially because like uh, if you look for example at a main DPS like Al Haytham uh, Kazuha is not really that useful with him uh, unless he is C2 because of the elemental mastery buff But at the same time, it's like copy him. Same thing with uh, They just say Navia who is a Geo DPS. Kazuha is useless with her and uh, Maybe like even like in the subcategory of uh, Electro Like not all Electro character actually need Kazuha in the team like for example Sino uh, If you are gonna put uh, Kazuha and Sino you better hope it's uh, one shot against for example Radiant because in the Abyss uh, 
because uh, above um, is not really that useful for Sino. So in conclusion, Kazuha is really good, but he is very replaceable. And if you are, uh, if you do not like Kazuha and you do not, you do not like his design, do not feel pressure to get him, especially because as we approach Natlan, uh, the artifact set in Natlan can make can actually make any sub DPS into a support, because like it can buff uh, elemental damage or damage bonus. I don't remember exactly uh, by 30% if you have like Night Soul. So yeah, any sub DPS in Natlan can be can become a good support. And uh, that means like maybe the Pyro Archon is gonna be, be a support if you want to, if you want to give her the support artifact. Maybe Shaplanky can also be that. Maybe the Geocat girl also. So yeah, like you have a lot of option in the future. Uh, it, it might be better than getting an old character. Anyway, this is all I wanted to say. Thank you for watching. If you think what I said is wrong, like you can always comment in the comment section. And I hope you guys do not take this personally. If you like Kazuha, I mean you like Kazuha and getting him is not wrong. Like he is really good. Um, so yeah, he is definitely an S tier character, but he is replaceable just like all the characters in the game. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video or uh, like find it interesting, uh, subscribe and let's stay connected. Uh, your support means the world to me and as always like stay awesome and I will uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.